Gospel Salvation is a vibrant and uh, empowered youth population, and uh, our mission is uh, building space and opportunities for young people to enhance their potentials. So we, we are called Open Space because uh, the name reflects exactly what we do to broaden space and opportunities for young people. As an organization, our niche is beta dialogue, so we use the beta as a tool in university students, secondary schools, and in our local communities to help our people be in position to talk about issues that affect them and also have action days or action points on what they can do to change their life. We believe that young people have a lot of uh, potentials, but um, maybe because I'm not given enough platform to showcase what they can be in position to do, that's why they are being looked at as a uh, of our young people that is a bit lazy. Ten years down the road, we are running four major programs, the Annual National Youth Festival, which is a crowning event to all youth initiatives in Uganda. Uh, Project Toy in the Box, which is a teenage empowerment program in schools. The SDBs in reality. So I started as a volunteer, and by then we only had one program, which was the Annual National Youth Festival. Say now or state that we are running four, five full programs as organizations. Right from secondary school, uh, we have been serving as a, a, a prefect, student leaders to the university, we are served in the young community, and now to our community, we are serving as a chairperson of the youth chairperson of uh, Market Parish. And then to the organization level, where I'm under leadership of a communication officer. Uh, all these steps uh, have been uh, motivated by serving people and providing a right direction to others, have uh, been motivated by the, the concept of influencing others. So that's where the leadership uh, concept came from. And right now I'm pursuing a master's degree in local governance and human rights. Being a young person, I think I had a lot of uh, contribution I had to, to, to provide to my fellow young people in Uganda. Being the largest population in the country, uh, with that uh, thinking of if I'm not part of the solution, then I'm a part of the problem. Uh, the fact that we are the, the largest population of the citizens in Uganda have been motivated by the, the ideas, the innovativeness of young people in Uganda. The, the idea that young people are, are looked at as a problem other than a solution. So I thought it is very important to be working with young people to make them understand that they can be change agents if we are to change our community and the way our country is being run. Young people have a very, very big role they need to play as far as national development is concerned, particularly in Uganda, where you have almost over 78% of the population being a youth population. That alone is human resource. So when we have big numbers of young people, we have a lot of potential people that will act as, as human resource in industrialization and thus we will be to achieve the national government. Young people have a role of being active citizens of their country as if we are to achieve national government. For example, young people need to devote themselves in a leadership concept in their country. That means they need to stand for leadership positions, they need to influence youth policies, and they need to vote and be part of the entire process of electoral democracy. If young people are being the majority of the population in Uganda are involved in electoral democracy, that means they are being part and parcel of their national government. The other concept would be, again, look, young people working as uh, change agents in their country. If The fact that you have a very, very huge population of young people, if they act as change agents in their communities, in their countries, definitely we are going to ensure that we achieve national development. The major challenge of young people in the economic sector in Ghana today is uh, <laughs> the, the lack of political will to, to, to influence or to initiate policies that will help young people to involve themselves in uh, economic activities, even when they are not just given or not begging. So I think it is a very big challenge. The other thing would be 
the thinking that young people should be given is a very, very big challenge we are having. Where you find young people asking for government to give them startups, to give them loans, to give them money. I think we need to change that thinking where we can now young people acquiring, not requesting to be given, but uh, acquiring for what ought to be theirs and use it uh, very well to ensure that they participate or fully participate in the economic activities of this country. Uh, unlike other people, I think uh, we need to blame young people themselves. Uh, to, to, they need to change from that uh, thinking of uh, captive of negativity to captive of positivity. So if, unless they change their mindset that it's upon them, if they want the change they are looking for, they need to fight and see that they get this change. Number two, I think government is also to blame because of political reasons. Our state keeps on uh, keeping young people as uh, beggars, as people that need to benefit from government. But I think if government had uh, initiated uh, youthful policies or policies that are friendly to young people, they could enable young people to fully participate in the uh, economic activities of this country. I envision seeing a, a, a young person that can stand up and talk of issues that affect them, a young person that can be part of the solution of the problems they are having in their communities. The nation, we've uh, just uh, launched the, the, the roadmap from the Prime Minister's Office of Uganda as far as uh, SDGs are concerned. But particularly as an organization, after understanding the concept of sustainable development goals, we thought it is very important to, 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 to bring on board young people in universities and schools so that they understand the concept. They have a scope, a time scope of 15 years. From 2015 November, when they were adopted, up to 2030, whether we like it or not, these people that you look at as the pushers of the Sustainable Development Goals agendas, that is to say heads of states, prime ministers, members of parliaments and uh, other legislators may not be in the same positions in 15 years time to come when we are going to be doing evaluation of the SDGs. So as an organization, we chose to get sustainable development goals and take them near to the communities and we designed a program called SDGs in reality. We are trying to get sustainable development goals and make our people understand that these are not uh, foreign agendas. These are not agendas for only the elites. These are things or problems that affect us every now and then. So that's why we try to translate some of the SDGs in local languages in Uganda. We try to, 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 to help uh, youth leaders and people within the informal sector to understand sustainable development goals in their own understanding, in their capacities, in the markets, on border border stages, in those informal sector areas, so that these people may understand and appreciate the sustainable development goals. We believe that unless the, the entire population understands the concept of sustainable development goals, that's when they will act and do something about the goals. They will do monitoring and evaluation. They will also be in position to report for the SDGs. So we chose to do an SDG in reality campaign or program where we composed a youth panel on SDGs in Uganda. It is one of its kind that has happened in Uganda today. We're trying to get a number of young people that are doing a lot of work on sustainable development goals to come up with a coalition of a team of young people that can stand and talk about SDGs with a lot of authority. We are talking about people that will be understanding the different associated targets of the Sustainable Development Goals. We are talking about people that will understand the reporting mechanism of Sustainable Development Goals. We are also talking about people that will do mentorship in their communities to others that do not understand the SDGs. So we are getting the SDGs, decode them, and give the message to people in the way they understand it best. So that they may be in position to understand that these are issues that affect us globally, these are issues that affect our communities in every day. When you talk of life on land, these are issues that affect our communities. 
when you look at the sustainable development goals, they are interrelated per se. When you look at SDG number one, which is uh, low poverty, there is the way it connects to SDG number two that says zero hunger. When you look at SDG number three and number four, they are a bit connected. So we, we may not specifically work on a certain SDG, but we chose to first do awareness so that people may be in position to understand what could be the role in a specific goal. Most importantly, there is goal 17 that is, talks about partnerships of all goals. It shows that no goal that can achieve, we cannot achieve any goal unless we try to work on partnership of all goals. First of all, I appreciate the framers of uh, leaving no one behind uh, as a slogan for the sustainable development goals. When you look at the goals themselves, people perceive them in, in different angles. People think they are ideas or agendas for the foreigners. People think they are ideas or agendas for the elite. People think that they are ideas for, or agendas for uh, policy makers, for you know, politicians and leaders. But leaving no one behind is a slogan that helps us understand that if we are to achieve the sustainable development goals in any way, we need not to leave anyone behind. We need, we need the, the youth on board, we need politicians on board, we need people, most importantly, people with disabilities on board, and we need all clusters of people on board to collectively get their efforts and work on achieving the sustainable such an environment where no one is left behind, first of all by appreciating and understanding what the concept of SDG is about, and number two, by taking efforts to ensure that the slogan of leaving no one behind, it does not only stop at saying leaving no one behind, but uh, it is really seen in the entire implementing and programming of certain development goals. When I look at about five years from now, I'm seeing Open Space uh, becoming an institute that uh, highlights or helps young people to understand the entire concept of leadership. I'm looking at Open Space uh, having a, a youth hub, a hub for leaders where we can do, say, a regional leadership academy. And uh, I'm looking at Open Space uh, uh, fundamentally developing a new movement of young people that are vibrant and empowered. I to appreciate AITV uh, from Boston for giving us an opportunity to share with our fellow young people the group. And I also want to say that it is a very good initiative understanding issues that uh, uh, take place within other communities. Thank you so much and keep locked.